morning this is my shaman oracle reading for this week i already started yesterday reading for aries taurus gemini and cancer and i'm continuing with leo virgo libra and scorpio and this reading here is for scorpio welcome scorpio I'm using five decks and the reading starts with the shamans, dream oracle card and out came lost in space. And the card lost in space is about feeling a bit lost, needing some direction and focus and a 24 hour day. Sometimes in life we lose our way, perhaps falling prey to addictive behaviors, to jealousy, to comparison, to resistance or fear. This happens especially when we are up leveling and genuinely changing for the better. A part of us hiding in the vast expansiveness of space wants to sabotage our progress in the transformation process our inner world no longer feels safe or inhabitable as we find that our thoughts and beliefs have morphed beyond recognition so you may find yourself adrift in this way right now, unable to focus or to determine the next step. You might be tired and simply need to regroup and to rest. When you lack direction, the first thing to do is to redirect your perspective of time like a newborn baby who needs swaddling to feel safe you are invited to reduce your life visioning to the next 24 hours anyone can handle living in 24 hour compartments which allows everything to feel grounded and manageable you get lost in space when you imagine being swallowed up in the giant vastness of the future with its dark uncertainties or when you reflect on how your past has held you captive in a hall of distorted never-ending mirrors reminding you of your mistakes and flaws failures and losses so take heart that a simple 24 hour container immediately banishes those two awful eternities away you will find your energy and focus restored as you recognize that you were never lost at all so keep it simple right now conserve your energy and take care of you in basic fundamental ways and the world will be right again that's a wonderful idea with the 24 hour compartments then we can handle life much better right sometimes we think of future things instead of concentrating on the here and the now next card is the work your light oracle card and out came awakening and the card relates to energetic upgrades and a new way of being and integration that fits well in with the lost in space card i think right 
So you are going through a period of awakening. Things are changing within you and at many levels. You are starting to remember ancient truths and you are discovering more and more about who you are and why you incarnated. You may find that you are experiencing past life flashbacks, seeing the invisible thread that is woven through all of life, or even feeling Kundalini Shakti rise through your body from the base of your spine. The most important thing for this time is not to overthink it and to stay grounded. Share your experiences with like soul people while you consciously integrate them and journal and pay attention to your dreams. You are remembering and your soul gifts, they are emerging. During this time of transition and awakening, you may be called to devote yourself to being of service. There are ideas, truths, concepts, books and creations waiting to be birthed into this world. So stay open to receiving them. Getting the card in your reading may be a sign that you are here to birth one of these creations into the world. Or perhaps you are being called to make a shift in your life in order to be of service. Do not think too much about it. Instead, repeat the following work your light activation. I surrender to my awakening. I allow the Shakti energy to rise from the base of my spine. I open myself up to the universe using me in a way that delights my mind, my body and my spirit. Next card is the Sacred Destiny Oracle card. And out came wisdom. And the wisdom is about the depths of the sea. The surface of the sea can be choppy and turbulent. But when we sink down into the depths, our surroundings are completely different. Often there is a stillness below. In other cases, the surface of the sea might be placid, yet down in the liquid blue area are a myriad of creatures and a variety of seaweeds. There, a vast community of creatures is eating, mating, giving birth and dying. What we see on the sea's surface has very little to do with what is occurring down below. The sacred landscape wants you to know things are not as they seem. So look beneath the surface in your life. For example, you might feel that you aren't making progress on a particular project, yet beneath the surface, things are happening. Or you might be going through a stormy cycle. This card is letting you know that even though the surface of your life might be a bit rocky or wobbly, in a deeper place, all is well and serenity and peace are emerging. Things that may seem challenging will later be revealed to have been beneficial to you. And the last two decks are animal decks. 
and the first one is called lovely animal oracle deck and the card that came out for you is crowned hawk the general message here is to pay attention to your dreams because they have messages for you with them you can heal current traumas or fears that are lost in other dimensions waiting to be discovered and to be healed so write down your dreams when you wake up the crown talk is about dreams messages and healing the strength of the card is that you have the ability to receive divine messages the opportunities are that you dream of future events and you listen to the warnings that are important for your daily life the weaknesses of the card are that you might be unwilling to devote more time to spiritual matters and some dangers are that you that your traumas they cannot heal or at least your traumas give you the impression that they cannot be healed but they can so next card and last card is the archangel animal card and out came the snake and the snake card is saying to live according to your divine essence is the elemental kingdom message snakes they come from many universes bringing their light and their wisdom with them they step down to earth through neptune where they collect the keys and the codes from atlantis and lemuria when they become physical they crawl on the ground and spread this information so that anyone can access it they are then closely connected to hollow earth and energetically bring up ancient knowledge and the records of the history of the planet snakes they are messengers who bring warnings or remind you to look beyond the outer appearance of something or someone around you often they bear the good news that change or transformation is on its way they may herald an expansion of consciousness which will inevitably revolutionize your life all reptiles they still carry the original divine blueprint or essence that they received when they were created this offers them power and purity and this is why snake magic offers a powerful energetic protection if you call on it sincerely guidance of the card is that you are asked to be very aware today because the snake card is bringing you a message that something is about to happen are you ready to burst out of your skin and expand your life is it is time to plan a holiday or maybe to move house is an opportunity going to be presented to you on the other hand this card may be offering a warning can you trust the people around you so look beyond the surface and listen to your gut 
instinct and remember to call on the snake magic if you feel you need protection and know that this will keep you safe your guidance is to be ready for any eventuality so tune in to the wisdom of the universe that is available to you now so that was the reading for scorpio i thank you very much for listening scorpio i wish you a gorgeous monday today i wish you a gorgeous week ahead take care and goodbye